How's it going everyone? John here. Today's video is going to be another web scraping video and in this one we're going to be looking at using a different library. Um, most of my basic web scrapers use requests and beautiful soup and this one today we're going to be using Gazpacho. Uh, always soup named I see. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the one of the websites I scraped in my previous video for product pages and we're just going to build a very simple version of that using uh, this library and we're going to see uh, how it works and if there's any differences but first thing to do as always is to read the docs now if we look down here it tells you how to install it and gives you a quick start example uh, which is quite cool because we can immediately see some of the differences so it's obviously does everything uh, that requests and beautiful soup does more or less by itself so maybe it's lighter weight um, and we can see that this is a bit more simplified here um, and it deals with the find uh, a bit differently we'll cover that in a minute so I'm actually going to copy this first part here and I'm going to go ahead and put that into our Python script like that and I'm going to check the and get the <clears throat> and I'm going to get the URL for the page we're going to scrape which is this one right here and I'll put that in instead of this one okay so this is the website and we can see that we have some whiskey again and there are 20 items on this page and that's important to remember for right now after we've imported what we need, we can see that we set our URL like we normally would. And then we do HTML is get URL. And this is the same as our R is equal to request.get for those of you who are familiar with requests. And then soup is equal to soup HTML, which is the same as setting soup is equal to beautiful soup uh, and then passing in the R value.content or whatever. The only thing we don't have to do with this is we don't have to specify which HTML parser we want to use. So if I go ahead and let's print out um, the soup right now, we should get a long confusing list of HTML, etc, uh, etc. Et now that's good, that means we're all working. So what we want to do is we want to go to our web page. And as you can see, I've already got up the inspect element, which is very important for us we can see by hovering over this div class of item that we get highlighted on the other side of the page the whole sort of product part for each uh, individual product on the page now these in this uh, divs is the information that we're going to be getting out uh, in this example i'm going to go ahead and just get the name and the price and keep it nice and simple now we know that the class is equal to item we can go back to our script and get going so let's just say whiskey is equal to soup dot find and then we pass in div and then like a dictionary in Python we do class as the key and then uh, item sorry is the value. Now if we go back to our page really quick we can see that there are 20 items. Now if I go ahead and print the length of this, we're going to get more back. We see we get 25 and that's because the way that find works, and in beautiful sleep you have find and find all and find would only get one or the first one. The way that find works in, in Gazpacho is that it automatically will find everything. So we're actually partially ma matching other divs on the page that match the word item. So what we want to do is we want to pass in strict is equal to true. Now what that's going to do is that's going to make sure it only complete match on item class. So we got 25 that time, hopefully this time we get 20. All right there we go, we've brought back 20 this time. So that's quite an interesting uh, different take on it. Um, it could be useful. So let's get rid of our print length here and we're going to want to get the names and the price out. So if we use our little tool and hover over the name we can see that it's in a div class of name and the price is in a span class price. So that's nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly type this up. So let's do for whiskey in, uh, let's actually just do item, keep it simple for item in whiskey. Then we can say our name is equal to item dot find. And it was a div, I believe and the class was name and let's print out the name real quick and see what we're getting back so we get 20 unique names that looks about right to me 
Uh, and as you would in Beautiful Soup, we can just do dot text on the end, and we should only get the text from those elements. So it starts at some Tori Tori's classic and ends up in Nika Pure Malt classic and Pure Malt. So we're getting the right information. And we can see now that the span class of price, span class is equal to price, so we can put that in. Uh, let's do price is equal to item dot find and again span open our curly brackets and the class is price and I'm going to do dot text again save that and I'm going to do name and price like this print that out got an error and that is because it's bringing back a list so we are matching more um, classes with price with this price thing so what we want to do is if we just check back here we can see that if we did a partial match uh, which is the default for find it's going to bring back these two and now we can't actually get both of them back uh, and use the dot text like we were so what we want to do again is on this one which we want to do strict is equal to true again and that is going to give us only ones that completely match. So that's it basically, this is a really simple scraper and we've used a different library to the requests and beautiful suit that we would normally use. It's very similar, I can't see it really being any quicker, it seems to do the same sort of thing. However the syntax is maybe simpler and easier, quicker to type up perhaps. The find mechanic works in a very very similar way but is slightly more simplified. You just got to remember that if you want a strict match to your class like we needed here with item and price to put in strict is equal to true otherwise you're going to have problems. Um, all in all I don't know if this would ever replace um, requests for me. I can't see why I would use it but it is quite nice quite cool little library. Maybe you can find a use for it. So that's going to do it for this one. Um, if this is your first time watching me make sure you check out all the other videos on my channel i've got loads more web scraping content in there and loads more to come if you like the video hit a like if you've got any comments or questions stick them in the box below and i'll do my best to get back to you cheers guys bye